So this is the second part of this video. So if you haven't seen the first part, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can go back and watch it. But if you have seen the first video, we're moving on to the second part. And this is where we get into what I call the meat and potatoes of the video. I had a lot of questions about the uh, firewood processor and I'm just gonna walk you through each step of processing the log. So the first step is obviously to get the log up onto the platform. We got our firewood processor with the optional lifting mechanism. I do think this is a useful tool and very versatile because it means you don't always have to have a tractor there. You could actually pull logs up uh, to the firewood processor with like an ATV. Another way to really speed up production if you're a one person team is to have a tractor and a grapple. As you can see here, you can load a very large log onto this uh, firewood processor without very much labor. For those of you who watch our channel regularly, you'll know I'll try to do anything to get out of labor. So we've already got a log on here and I've already started splitting it, but we'll use this as an example. One of the big questions is, is how do you tell how long the round's gonna be? Well, you can set this chain in one, in one inch increments and it's pretty much just super simple and it's bulletproof, it just works and it doesn't ever break. So the chain hangs down, you take the log forward till it, till it passes just past the chain. You pull this arm down and the teeth engage and as you pull back it causes the teeth because of the angles to dig in. It it's automatically reverses and when it gets to the end of the cycle it, it kicks off automatically. The next thing you're going to do is pull the, pull the bar down and it automatically turns the saw on. Now I've got everything slowed down right now because of uh, doing this video. So now you're going to push up on the on the arm with the teeth and it'll automatically disengage. You'll run down and split it. Now every, all these cycles will be faster. So right now I'm going to go ahead and speed it up all the way so you can see it happen step by step. We're going to hold our, our, our teeth, uh, grab pins up, lock in place. Drops in the hopper, split all the way, pull it back, grab it, release it. You can really split some fire with this thing. Firewood goes through it fast. sweaty at all this is truly where we stopped in our last video uh, this is the log that we use the chainsaw to cut off the excess limbs to be quite honest this this log is probably a little bit too big uh, the firewood processor is rated at a 16 inch log that is 8 foot long and this log is a little bit over 16 inches in places and it's also probably more on the line of 12 foot long but the firewood processor just ripped right through it all. Big old giant mess there, this me.
At some point we're going to get a dump trailer, but the conveyor belt right now is still worth it to us because it allows you to keep working and make a big pile of firewood without having to stop and move the firewood. So you can just keep on going, ripping right through it all. I hope I'm answering all your questions, but if I have missed anything, please leave a comment below and ask the question. I'll try to answer it as best I can. Another thing I forgot to mention is, is when you load the log, always load the bigger end on this end. And that keeps it, to, to, if the log hangs over the end, you don't want the log to tip off this way. So always load the large end on this end. piece here. the biggest log I think I've uh, it's a big log I don't think it's the biggest one we've ever put on but it's a big log only to the max of the firewood processor put it uh put all this away and stow it 
and get it set up to set, set back. Hey again, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer anything I can. If you've got a, uh, like an ideal for me to use the firewood processor or something I've missed, you know, by all means, leave a comment below. Listen, I appreciate you watching our channel. God bless and have a great day.